Hey Virgos, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is your love reading for the rest of 2019 for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Virgos, I hope you're doing good. Uh, we're just going to dive right into the meditative session I did, and then we'll do the pre-shuffle on screen. Then we'll go ahead and get into the tarot card reading, okay? If you're new to tarot or don't understand how energy works or certain terminologies of the community, because I know we got a lot of newbies coming in, at least for the next couple months, we got a lot of newbies coming in to the community. Um, check... <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> mercurial sign, uh, check out the link below for how to interpret tearings as a viewer so that I can give you a little crash course 101 on how to watch these videos, how to really interpret what I'm saying or what signs to even watch. It's a really good crash course for that, okay? Also, check out my other content on Patreon and Vimeo. It's different content. They are not extended, okay? Virgo, in your meditative session, the first thing I saw was Ace of Swords. Um, it it's it's the raw naked truth is 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 what's being delivered it could be a contract but i feel like it's truth being spoken and it's bringing enlightenment to someone who's been in the dark um being in the dark can also be very voluntary it could be someone who's been in denial okay it can be someone who's been in denial or someone who's intentionally being put in the dark uh virgo keep in mind keep hearing libra <laughs> sorry <laughs> keep hearing libra could be no libra cap on your chart anyway you can be a cusper um so virgo keep in mind that when I'm talking about energy in my meditative session, it can be you or someone who's connected to you or someone in your physical environment or someone you know, and it can be vice versa, okay? So just take it as it resonates. Don't put, don't try to make it fit. But there's, there's raw truth being delivered and it's really clearing up a lot of things. It's bringing enlightenment to someone. They're no longer in the dark about a situation. I also feel this energy of, of going back. Um, I felt drawn to um, use the legacy deck for you guys. I haven't used this deck in forever. Mostly because it's worn out. <laughs> if I'm being honest, mostly because it's worn out. Because it's one of my favorite decks. I just haven't replaced it. And I, when I replace decks, then I'm like, oh my god, how many old decks am I just going to keep, like, you know, piled up in a box? Anyway, uh, not your problem, mine. Uh, so I do feel this energy of having to go back to the beginning, okay? So I feel like whatever truth is being delivered, it's about all the details that were either kept or ignored. Because like I said, for some, this person who's been in the dark has been in denial, very voluntar voluntarily... Um, how do I say this? Where's my grammar today? I feel like my grammar has been gone the last few days. Uh, voluntarily putting themselves in the dark, right? That's for some of you. Others, it was intentional, okay? Um, it's the difference between Susie went to the park and Susie went to the store, bought an apple, went to 7-Eleven, got iced tea, then went to the park and had a snack, right? It's like, <laughs> there's a very big difference there. There's a very big difference there. And I feel I feel liberation with this as well. I did feel liberation with that. Um, I also was picking up on communications of travel, communications of movement. Um, <coughs> oh, sorry, Virgo. I'm hearing Mercury, Mercury, Mercury. Okay, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, communications of travel came in pretty strong. So that could be, you know, maybe you're telling someone you're moving or someone could be telling you they're moving or like that they're moving on or moving on to bigger and better things. You know, it can be that too. And I do feel like that's coming with the truth or delivery of the truth of Things need to move, things need to progress, things need to change, or things need to just not be the same, right? And that's only going to happen by delivering the truth. Uh, so Virgos, that's what I was getting in the meditative session. Let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. Yeah, they keep showing me the Ace of Swords. Please bring for any messages of truth, healing, and love. Whoa! Okay. Oh, yeah. Page of Swords in a verse with the Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. So someone could have been um, not super straightforward with you at work. Page of Swords in a verse can be miscommunication or straight up lies. Three of Pentacles can indicate work or career or working with someone. It could be someone that you consider to be a coworker, a friend, a family member, a roommate, whoever, that you were actively building something with. <clears throat> or trying to progress in, some, in your connection, whatever your connection is here. Or again, it could just be your workplace, but someone was holding back the truth. Someone was holding back the truth. Those are any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Please inform any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Wheel of Fortune. I like seeing that. Jupiter energy. So with this communication of the truth, the wheel will turn forward. Change change needs to happen in this situation. Whatever was being omitted or just straight up lied about has to come to light. It has to. 
It has to. Very indicative of the energy we're into, by the way. Please inform your messages of truth, feeling, and love for those who need it. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. <clears throat> I feel like whatever was held back involves other people. Does involve other people. So again, this could be all around family or workplace. Let's see here. God, these cards really want to talk Virgo. Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy could also be earth or fire. So this is slow movement. Caution. I'm hearing caution. Caution. Caution, caution, caution. The wheel is turning forward um, for the person who's now being cautious. I feel like it's after this truth is delivered. Yeah, I feel like it's after this truth is delivered. Um, I feel like this person, once they receive this truth, is having trouble trusting. Having trouble trusting. Being very, very cautious. Please bring forward any messages. Ooh, we got the Ace of Wands. Um, it's good, though. It's very positive, guys. This is very, very positive. This person's breaking on to a new path. They could just be very inspired and have a lot of new ideas. And they're running with it here after the delivery of the truth. Um, but they're being very cautious, I think, because they are coming out of a situation where it's like, oh, well, I was just... The truth was kept back from me. That doesn't make me feel so good, right? <laughs> right um so they're just doing it they're just playing it safe they're just playing it safe virgo this could very well, very well be you okay please for any messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for virgo sun moon rising venus and jupiter for the rest of 2019 Let's see here whoa Whoa, Knight of Wands. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo with the Six of Wands, Jupiter, and Leo energy. This feels like a separate energy. These feel like two different people. These feel like two different people. We have someone over here moving really fucking fast. <laughs> really, really fast. And someone over here who's wearing, who's being very cautious. They have the Wheel of Fortune, though, okay? And like I said, I do feel like this is the person who had the truth delivered to them. And they now are motivated to just start something new, to get going, keep progressing, just keep going in life. But they're doing it in a cautious way. This person's just going balls to the wall and going real fast about it. This could this could definitely be two people going separate ways here. <clears throat> After truth is delivered, that was held back before. I'm just going to hang in this energy a little bit longer, and then we'll get started on the reading. It's interesting, too, though, because we have one person with the Ace of Wands, and then we have someone over here with Six of Wands. And, you, and this card is associated with victory and attention. I do feel like this person... Mm, how do I say this? Look, I'm all for slow and steady wins the race. That is very true. I mean, sometimes if you want to build something right, like the Knight of Pentacles, you build it in the right way, but this can lean towards perfectionist energy. Um, but they have the Wheel of Fortune on their side, so that's very positive. I mean, I feel like this person's in really good standing, and they're going to be really great <clears throat> as far as their fortune is concerned. And I feel like they're going to go towards stability. This person's going really, really fast. Um... But at the same time, I feel like they're being very victorious. I feel like both of these people are headed towards success, but it does seem like a separate success because truth is delivered after someone was not honest, right? Please for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Virgo, so I'm rising mean. Whoa, whoa. Card vomit. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Yeah, it's just starting to re repeat itself. Eight of Cups, Piscean energy. Um, leaving stuff behind, heading towards the future. Heading towards the future. So let's go ahead and get into the actual reading here. Sorry, guys. Let me get some water. <clears throat> mm. Okay. Virgos, if you're new to tarot, new to my channel, please know these messages are very, very general. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. That's not always going to be you, okay? We read for thousands of people, and it's okay if it's not your story. Don't need to throw hate or shade. Don't need to get upset. Just check out another reader. It just wasn't your week to hear this story. Please support those who do resonate with the reading. Uh, we are working with energy, so just know that messages can be reversed or vice versa. So if you have to switch the roles, that's okay. If, it's still, if it resonates with you, you know it's your story. You'll know who you are in the story. Please don't try to make it fit. You're going to make yourself crazy doing that. <clears throat> also, guys, <clears throat> I know, sorry. Only happening with you today, Virgo. <laughs> um, we don't read uh, gender. We read energies. So just know that. So don't get caught up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy, okay? Um, also, time is not linear either. So whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it. Okay, Virgo, let's get started. Any messages for Virgo? Someone's on a mission. I just heard someone's on a mission. I feel like it's that Knight of Wands energy on a mission. Any messages for Virgo regarding love for us for 2019? 
<clears throat> Any messages for Virgo regarding love for the rest of 2019? Someone needs to prior, uh, re reprioritize. Reprioritize. Priorities are not in the correct order. <laughs> I don't know who that's for. <clears throat> oh, shit. Virgo, give me a second. <laughs> mm. I don't know who that's for. Um, but that's what they're telling me. For some, the priorities are not in the right order. You got to reprioritize some stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, they just said money's not everything. Money's not everything. So that's that's what that's alluding to for who needs to hear that. Any messages for Virgo? I mean, it's important. I get it. Trust me. Trust me. I get. I get it. Money's important, but it's it's not the most important thing in life. Any messages for Virgo regarding love for the rest of twenty nineteen? I feel like oh god, they're taking me down this rabbit hole. Um. For whoever needs to hear that, I feel like your family really prioritizes money or they only appreciate you because of money. They could be very dependent on you um, or they could just value money to the point where it's like, if you're not making a lot of money, you're not important to us, which is really shitty. That's not love, right? That's definitely not love. Seven of Wands, uh, Leo energy here. So someone standing up for what they want, standing, I'm hearing standing up for the truth, actually. Standing up for the truth and they're very much guarding themselves, being protective of their heart space is what I'm hearing, being protective of their heart space, but also demanding the truth, demanding the truth. Um, so if you're, if you're in that predicament and your family is making you feel that way or your friends are making you feel that way, you got to double check yourself there, okay? <clears throat> Ooh, money doesn't buy love. Ooh. Oh. I mean, holiday season, I guess that would be a theme for some people who have who have that um, issue. Anyway, keeping it going. Keeping it going. Any messages for Virgo? I keep hearing Libra. Any messages for Virgo regarding love for the rest of 2019? Tower in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because it's Mars. Yeah, this is after I think the truth is delivered. It's bringing down a tower. <sighs> Someone can't be in the dark anymore. Someone can't be in the dark anymore. For some, they can't be in denial anymore. And now it's like they're kind of closing off their heart space. Um, it could just be temporarily so that they can heal. But I do also feel a demanding of the truth. It's like, yeah, I also feel a demanding of the truth. And I feel like that's activated during a conversation where it's like, it's like, oh, wait a minute, there's more to this. Oh, you better tell me fucking everything. <laughs> Right? It's like someone's taking the stance as the tower is coming down. <clears throat> I'm also getting an energy for some that there's a resistance to change, a resistance to loss. Uh, sometimes we lose things, guys, so that we can make space for better things, right? And sometimes that's why people struggle with change. For some, I'm feeling that resistance. Any messages for Virgo? <sighs> Jesus. Sorry, Virgo. I'm getting a lot of messages for you guys. Uh, for some, the house of lies is coming down. That's intense. For some, the house of lies is coming down and it's making someone very defensive because the jig is up. Jesus. Okay, let's keep going, please. Thank you, spirit. Wow. Sorry, I know that's like my favorite word today. Oh my God, you guys, sorry. A little tangent. Just talking to you guys real quick. The Taurus reading? Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God, what a complicated reading. It was just like, who was doing what to who i was just like it was the taurus reading was overwhelming i had to take a break after that one devil in reverse capricorn energy a lot of happy energy in these two cards town reverse is also saturn <coughs> excuse me for capricorn um it's also fixed energy so aquarius leo taurus scorpio also saturn here which was capricorn sorry i know i just repeated that um i'm just really in it today devil in reverse um toxicity is being released but someone doesn't want want it to be Someone doesn't want it to be. Um, it's almost like an energy of, you know what? I'm breaking away from this house of lies or truth is coming out and it's bringing someone into full enlightenment and full awareness. Like, oh, I don't need to be associated with you in this toxic energy or in a karmic cycle, epitome of karmic cycle. But some the other party or other parties involved don't want it to end. They don't want it to end. Someone's breaking free. <clears throat> As the truth is being revealed, someone's breaking free, but other people or another person does not want them to. Ooh, ooh. 
<laughs> a lot of cards, Virgo. Magician, <clears throat> Mercurial Energies, which is your card. Oh my God, Virgo. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Mm. <clears throat> I feel like someone doesn't want me talking about this. Anyway, Magician is Mercurial. So Virgo, Gemini could also be Aqua and Scorp for me as a reader. Divine Masculine Energy. King of Cups is Scorpio, Water and Air. Knot of Swords, Gemini could also be Air or Fire and Justice, Libra Energy. I only say the signs just so you guys are aware. We can all harness the energy of any sign at any time. I just like to tell you guys the signs for educational purposes. But anyway, so I feel like this King of Cups is... is are they receiving or giving? Giving. They're giving. This King of Cups is, is giving communication, and that's bringing in justice to the situation. They're doing it from a from a very um, heartfelt space. Heartfelt. It's very heartfelt, whatever this communication is, okay? It's very heartfelt. I feel like they're bringing in truth because they want to make something happen. They want to create something more than just bringing in justice. It's more than just bringing in justice because justice is bringing truth to the, to the light, right? Making sure everybody's not in the dark, make sure everybody's on the same page and knows what's up. This King of Cups is doing that because it's the right thing, but they're doing that in order to create something out of that. But once this King of Cups brings in the truth, the other, the other person or people around them aren't taking it well because as we reveal truth, right, um, we can't ignore what's toxic. We can't ignore what's unhealthy. And that's bringing enlightenment to the people of like what's not healthy and they don't want to face that. Oh, <clears throat> there you go. Yeah. The other person or other people involved who are hearing this truth, they don't want to face the, the unhealthy shit they got to get away from or that they're, they're, they just shouldn't be doing. It's bringing awareness to their own dysfunction. And you got to be careful with that sometimes. Like, when you, know, when, you, when you vibe high, when you've worked a lot on yourself, when you're always checking yourself and trying to be the best person you can be, people who don't do that get a little upset because it really shows them how they're not like that. It really highlights the things about them that they don't like about themselves. And that's their own issue. But usually people in that vibration don't react well. Okay, and I do feel that that's what's coming out here in this lashing out with the seven of wands. Yeah, yeah, Virgo, as this King of Cups is revealing the truth, it's highlighting the dysfunctions of other people or the other person or what's not right in the situation and what needs to come to an end, right? That that grossness, that grossness that needs to end, they're putting up a fight. They're putting up a fight. Let's see what else wants to come out here. <clears throat> Any other messages for Virgo? Any other messages for Virgo? I just heard inadequate. Someone feels inadequate or has struggles with issues of inadequacy. Any messages for Virgo regarding love for the rest of 2019? Nice. Strength. Leo energy. Virgo, I do feel like you're the king of cups here, but of course, like I said, you know who you are in the story. All right, so just decide who you are. But for the sake of the reading, I'm going to say this as if you're the king of cups. Strength. Leo energy, you're trying to have compassion here because you're coming as a king of cups. You're coming from a heartfelt space. You're trying to have compassion for everybody involved as this truth is being spoken, as this truth is being illuminated. There's no stopping it at this point, whatever the truth is. You're trying to have compassion for, for them. One person or many decide, right? Could just be a family thing. Um, but you're also taking control of the situation and you're not backing down either. You're revealing truth and it's like, truth is truth. So you might just be saying that. Truth is truth. Truth is truth. <clears throat> yeah, I really just feel like you're you're just you're just lighting up the dark spots of a situation and the other person or the other people don't like that and they don't want things to change, but once you've seen it, you can't unsee it, right? So they're going to struggle. But they're going to struggle. It's not, you, you did what you had to do, right? Overall energy, we do have Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. You could be making a career shift. This could be in the workplace and you could be like, you know what? I'm not doing this shit anymore. You don't want to put energy into this anymore. You don't want to put energy into a toxic situation or dysfunctional situation or enable dysfunction, dysfunctionalities uh, within a dynamic of you and one person or multiple people. You don't want to do that anymore. You don't want to enable any of that shit, which is why you're bringing in this truth and they're struggling with it. Okay. All right. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's look at the seven of wands. This is gonna be a long reading. I can already feel. Oh, well, you guys would already know it's a long reading. I know. I always forget that. Uh, I actually, yeah, let's do Santa Muerte. Thank you. 
Don't know who I said thank you to. <laughs> so I got seven of wands. Talking about seven of wands. I heard just her Leo. Talking about seven of wands for Virgo. Regarding love for the rest of 2019. Talking about seven of wands. For Virgo regarding love for the rest of 2019. One more. Time of the Seven of Wands. Yes. If you're dealing with multiple people, Virgo, there's one person in particular that's really putting up a fight. Time of the Seven of Wands. Yeah, Four of Wands in reverse. Leo energy. This foundation that's coming down. Foundations can be relationships. It could just be the... A dynamic as well, a dynamic that's been enabled and built up and built up upon, right? That foundation of dysfunctionality is coming down. It's coming down. You're delivering the truth, King of Cups, and it's coming down. And someone's like, nope. <laughs> someone's like, what are you saying? <laughs> oh, oh, that's what you're saying? Oh, well, I can't, I, I, I can't do that. But <laughs> Like, oh, you want me to be a, you want me to be a healthy person or you want me to, you know, you want me to get on this bandwagon of truth and enlightenment and oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh. You got to laugh at stuff like this. <clears throat> this person, this person or many people are definitely afraid of change and looking at themselves. Honestly, okay, let's be real for a second. Um, there, let's get deep for a second. This is kind of sad because it's like, Virgo, you're delivering truth and you're in a really good place. And you're coming across as a king of cups. I mean, that is someone who speaks from the heart, right? Who really speaks from the heart and not to mention as a king, right? Someone who's mature, someone who's been through some shit to earn that title of king, male or female, doesn't matter. Um, but with that seven of wands energy, I mean, it's just like, they're so afraid to look at themselves. Like how, like, think about that. Like to be afraid to look at yourself, and what that would mean if you had to, you know, if you, not had to, but if you wanted to improve on something or that is something needed to be improved upon. We all have stuff. We've all got stuff. You know, it's like we're, we're not perfect. We're human beings. Human beings are very far from perfect, right? No matter what your galactic origins are. <laughs> uh, at the end of the day, we're still in a human vessel, right? And that means living in a human existence. And that's a, that means living in imperfection. That's exactly what that means. Um, and some people don't like to accept that. Like there's something wrong with that, but there's not. There's not. It's sad. Anyway, time of seven of wands. <laughs> Sometimes I have trouble reading these cards. Seven of cups, scorpionic energy with justice in reverse, a Libra energy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Seven of cups. I'm actually getting options with this. Ooh, Virgo, whatever truth you're talking about, it could also be about your options. It could be about the opportunities that lay ahead for you or the opportunities you want for yourself. Seven of Cups can also be like a daydreamy kind of energy. It's almost like, God, yeah, this feels this feels really much like an enlightened person facing someone or many people that are stuck in old paradigms or stuck in their cycles or stuck in their old in the old ways of thinking and the old ways of doing things in a very kind of like suffocated stifled um uh what's the, what's the mentality uh because it's almost like how dare you dream is kind of what i'm getting with this like someone's actually really pissed off that some that you virgo that a king of cups energy is like looking at all the options that they could have or like oh my life could be like this my life could be like that like i could i could really do anything i really want if i just try you know, it's like, I just want better for myself. I want to be better. I feel like that's what the King of Cups is saying. And they're really speaking truth and showing light on how things can be better. And the, and it's almost this reaction of how dare you, how dare you dream? Like, how dare you think you can have all these opportunities away from me or away from us? How dare you try to like take down this foundation and try to go off into something that you deem better? Ooh. Oh God, Virgo. This is gonna be an intense reading. <laughs> okay. Talking about seven of wands. You know, in Virgo, there is a little tinge of jealousy here, a little tinge of envy of like, 
that you are able to have that way of thinking and they're not. Everyone's capable. Everyone's capable. But some people just get stuck in that. Oh yeah, someone or many people are feeling really rejected here. Tell me about seven of wands. Oh, oh yeah, this is kind of sad. Four of cups in reverse. Uh, <laughs> Cancer. <laughs> I just heard Scorpio. Cancerian energy and ten of wands, Sag energy. Yeah, someone's feeling really, really rejected here. And they're burdened by it. Overall energy, we do have the Knight of Wands. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. Yeah, Virgo, I feel like you're speaking truth here about going off into bigger and better things, right? And and this person you're telling that to, or many people, like a family situation <clears throat> or even a work situation that you're telling that to, they're just, they're not having it. They think it's bullshit. They're really pissed off about it. And that's kind of sad. That's kind of sad. Now, this also leans towards an energy of someone saying, look, I want to go off and explore my options romantically. I don't want to be with you. And the other person's upset. I could understand why, the, why that person would be upset. That definitely uh, says that with the cards out here, but that's not what I'm feeling. I'm telling you guys intuitively what I'm getting, but I do see like, I do see that in the cards where if this is romantic, one person's like, look, I don't want to be here anymore. This isn't for me. I don't want to put effort into this. I want to explore my options. And one person's feeling really rejected and pissed off about it and again understandably so if that's the case <sighs> let's keep going so this tower comes down uh but like i said there's resistance there there's resistance to having that end but it's a healthy it's a healthy thing i can feel it it's a healthy healthy thing um so i'm not even interested in looking at this especially for the especially for the sake of time because it's just more of that same energy i've been talking about i'm interested in this i'm interested in this and the, the delivery of the truth here so let's look at the Knight of Swords and see what this is. I really feel like it's just what I've been talking about, but let's see if we can get more details. Um, let's go Radiant Wise. Time of the Knight of Swords. Time of the Knight of Swords. Tell me about Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. It's almost like you're forcing the blind to see what they don't want to see. You know, like, like let's say you this is gonna. Oh my god, it's gonna sound so terrible. I can't. I just can't think of a better analogy. Like, if you take someone whose eyesight is terrible or borderline, they're borderline blind. You give them sight, but you only show them something that is just like the last thing they actually wanted to see. It's kind of like that. You're gonna get a rude reaction, right? It's for somebody. You know what I mean. Talk about Knight of Swords. <laughs> Knight of Swords for Virgo regarding love for the rest of 2019. Talking about Knight of Swords for Virgo regarding love for the rest of 2019. Oh shit, the devil. Yeah, see, what did I say? You're shining light on the dark spots. You're shining light on dysfunctionalities so that it can be removed you shed light on things that you want to heal, that you want to have paid attention to, to deal with it. But there's going to be a lot of resistance to that as you're doing it. Let's keep going. Hi, yeah, see, High Priestess in Reverse. Piscean Energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Eight of Cups in Reverse, more Piscean Energy. The truth is, they don't want to, they don't want to change that. And I don't think you're asking anyone to change. I think you're just speaking your truth. Like, look, this is what I want, right? This is what I want. This is what's going to make me happy. I'm realizing I need to do this, that, or the other. That can involve a move. That could involve travel. That can involve just exploring some shit, right? And because you're doing that, you're highlighting their shit and their, their reaction as well. I'm not okay with that, right? Oh, hold on. Come back. Okay. Their reaction is, I'm not okay with that. I don't want you to. Either flat out, I don't want you to do that. Or I'm not changing to be like you. And again, I don't think you're asking them to. But that's their reaction. Tell me about Knight of Swords. Tell me about Knight of Swords for Virgo. 
I went out of swords for Virgo regarding love for the rest of 2019. Virgo, for some, they, they literally don't want you to do that. Like the thing that you're saying you want to do, they, they're they flat out saying, I don't want you to do that. I want you to stay stuck. Like they want you to stay stuck in their darkness. Oh, Jesus, stuck in their darkness. Yep, four of pentacles. <laughs> Capricorn energy and the king of wands. Leo energy could also be fire or, or air not letting you go they don't want to they don't want things to change they don't want you to go off and explore your dreams or explore this explore that they don't want to let you go king of wands to the king of cups everyone's in like heavy masculine energy lately apparently that same thing happened in the taurus reading a lot of masculine energy this could be between two women two men a man and a woman doesn't matter and like i said for some it's between you and multiple people like your family or your friends or your coworkers. but yeah king of wands can also be a boss energy so this could be your boss saying you want to go and do what no or you could be telling your boss look things could be a lot better here here's the truth of the situation and here's how it can improve and they get all pissy and upset and you know call bullshit and they're like no things are not changing this is a very stubborn energy very stubborn energy virgo on the bottom we do have nine of wands sag energy i feel like you're speaking the truth because you've suffered a lot okay you've either been holding your tongue for quite some time on this virgo and now you're just tired of it. You're like, you're at the nine of wands. You're just like, I'm tired. This is the truth. It just needs to be spoken. This is in my best interest. This is in the best interest of the situation or everyone involved. And people are going to react badly to that. But you're going to stay strong. You're going to stay strong. Okay. Like, I, sorry, excuse me. Sorry. I hate before this. This can be between you and one other person or you and multiple people, like I said. Okay. So also keep that in mind. But light issues okay uh yeah it's just what's fair to you it's what's fair to you and i think it's time it's spoken i think it's time that it's spoken um uh, but let's look i don't like that the lights are doing that that's really bothering me um anyway so let's look at strength leo energy what deck do i want to use for this um kind of want to use a fun deck let's use a fun one uh what do i got what, what do i have over here oh let's do spellcasters let's do spellcasters talking about strength for virgo I keep hearing leo now her libra her leo <laughs> talking about strength for virgo regarding love for the rest of 2019 talking about strength for Virgo regarding love for the rest of 2019. Time about strength for Virgo regarding love for the rest of 2019. Where are we at? Oh, 33 minutes? Oh, we're really good. Time about strength for Virgo. Yeah, eight of wands and a very sad energy. This is difficult. This is really fucking difficult um because this person's literally trying to this person or many people represented by the king of wands energy is literally trying to stop you trying to stop you from doing what you got to do for you right and even though it's just mostly speaking truth it's speaking truth about what you want to do for yourself what's going to make you happy or or what you want to change about the situation to bring about a healthier dynamic between you and another person or you and multiple people and this person's being stubborn as hell with the devil no less oh damn it <laughs> we'll just call that the dark spots the dark spots of the dynamic that you're facing right now they're really putting their foot down they're putting up a big fight and it's a struggle it's a struggle but you got to stay strong in this and i think you are talking about strength and at the end of the day no one can make you do anything right talking about strength for virgo regarding love for the rest of 2019 talking about strength for virgo Regarding love, the rest of 2019. Time of strength for Virgo. Regarding love, for the rest of 2019. Time of strength for Virgo. Regarding love, for the rest of 2019. energy yeah see devil in reverse capricorn energy 
you're staying strong because this is what needs to happen. This is what needs to happen. It, it, that That's just it. Whether you want to stay and stick it out and try to make sure that the dark spots are taken care of, but I feel like most of you are going to just remove yourself from the situation because this person and our persons are just being so difficult and so stubborn and they want to hold on so bad to that devilish energy and to their old ways of doing things, the unhealthy way of doing things or the unhealthy ways of being and putting that on you and you're not going to be doing it anymore because overall you don't want to put energy into it. You don't want to, but it's a damn struggle, that's for sure. It's going to be slow. It's going to be a slow process, I feel like, for you, Virgo, because for some you're so immersed with this person or people that it's going to take time for you to become unimmersed. I don't think that's a word, but you know, untangled. Thank you. Untangle from them. All right. So let's get some goddess deck, some goddess deck. <laughs> I really don't have my grammar with me today. I hope I'm okay on the live later today. Uh, what time is it? Oh, and I'm really good on time too. Um, I'll be live tonight at 5 p.m. for the new moon eclipse video. Even saying that was difficult. Oh man, bear with me tonight, guys. Bear with me tonight. Now, this is the goddess deck, and I'm pulling it to see what energies will benefit you guys. Um, but my gods, you can use these energies too. What energies will be beneficial for my Virgos regarding this spread? What energies will be beneficial for my Virgos regarding this spread? What energies will be beneficial for my Virgos regarding this spread? What energies will be beneficial for my Virgos regarding this spread? Ooh, we have Ostara Fertility. Uh, it's the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Yeah, to br break away from this shit. Essentially, Virgo, just break away. Just break away. Just break away from this shit. Okay. What other energies would be beneficial for my Virgos to harness regarding this spread? No, okay. We have, ooh, Aphrodite, inner goddess. I like that. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Essentially putting you first. Putting you first. You don't have to stay stuck in a situation or dynamic just because other people want you to be. That's your choice. That's your choice. Unless we're talking like prison, like actual prison, it's your choice. <laughs> Any other energies to benefit my Virgos regarding this spread? Any other energies to benefit my Virgos regarding this spread? And then we have, ooh, on the bottom, Mary Magdalene, unconditional love. Love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter <laughs> what the outward appearances. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. Uh, let's go ahead and read these off. Where's my goddess deck? Oh, of course, I had it out already. That was just funny. Yeah, so again, stay strong in this. Use that strength energy. Use that Leo energy, even though you're a Virgo. You can be a cusper, of course. Um, and you'll be fine. Like, just stay strong in what you want. Stay strong in your beliefs. Be that wounded warrior. Use that resiliency of the wounded warrior, not the martyrdom. Not not the martyrdom, the the um, resiliency of that. And then do what you got to do for you and put you first, okay? All right, so let's look at Aphrodite. Aphrodite, inner god. Oh, please focus. There we go, inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating our divinity. Allow your inner feminine wisdom and dynamic beauty to rise to the surface. Cherish its power and meaningfulness. No matter whether your physical body is male or female, you have an inner femininity that nurtures you and guides you with its intuitive principles. Now is the time to become aware of, take ex excellent care of, and celebrate your magnificence. Balance your male energy with more female energy. Take steps to heal your sexuality. Enjoy being feminine. Dance more often. Be receptive. In relationships, allow your softer side to come forward. Don't hide your femininity. Dress in more feminine ways, for example. Aphrodite is the Greek goddess of passion and love who's associated with the planet Venus. Aphrodite's name means foam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this story is so crazy. Gotta love the Greeks, right? Aphrodite's name means foam born, as legend says that she sprang from her father, father Uranus's castrated genitals, which were cast into the ocean. 
Thus, Aphrodite represents unabashed female sexual energy. Aphrodite helps women feel comfortable with their bodies and sexuality. She helps both genders to experience more passion in their relationships and to become more balanced as far as individual male-female energy is concerned. All right, now let's read, what's the next one? Mary Magdalene. So again, just, you know, taking care of you, putting you first. Mary Magdalene, unconditional love. Love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. I'm not what most people think, yet to defend myself will be to sink to a lower level than I feel comfortable with. I am one with the divine, just as you are, and it is here that I choose to reside. The lower levels of human bickering, judgment, and chaos are just that, lower levels. I choose to do my work from the level of the higher consciousness, where love reigns supreme, it's here where the most good can be done, and I urge you to do the same. Where you dwell in consciousness is where you truly dwell. So focus your thoughts on the good things that you can find in people and rise above all appearances otherwise. Yeah, like I said, they're going to be putting up a fight with you, Virgo, as you speak your truth and the truth that you see in the dynamic or the situation, especially what you feel like really needs to change um, because it's just not healthy. Uh, they're going to put up a fight. And, and if you're trying to leave someone, they're going to try, come hell or high water, they're going to try as hard as they can to hold on to you. Okay, so just keep that in mind as well. Don't worry what others uh, think or say. Heal the situation with love. Send love to those who have hurt or misjudged you. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. Release old for unforgiveness toward others to help yourself heal and move on. Although the Gospels never specifically call Mary Magdalene a prostitute or a sinner, she's been called one by a misogynist. Mary Magdalene nonetheless overlooks these false judgments, is unconditionally forgiving, and has a beautifully sweet energy. Her significant role with Jesus, as described in the Gospels, includes her washing his feet, witnessing his death, and being one of the first people to whom he appeared after his resurrection. Controversies about other roles she may have played include Christ's bride, a temple priestess, or a disciple. Call upon her for help with forgiveness and opening your heart to more love. Yeah, I feel like you're going to, like I said, you're, it's going to be hard. <laughs> with the Nine of Wands, Eight of Wands universe, and the Strength card here, it is going to be difficult for you to deal with this person or people. But to come from compassion, right? It's one of the first things I said. You will be compassionate in this, and I think that's really going to benefit you and help you keep your sanity about you as well. All right? Not everyone is fully bad. Not everyone is fully toxic. There's always good in everybody. Somewhere. Somewhere. There is. There really is. Ostara, fertility. It is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Springtime is any time when the light increases within your mind and entire system. If you feel dark, heavy, or depressed, then you can lighten up by fueling yourself with positive intentions, nutritious foods, and anything that sparks your feelings of love. Surround yourself with beautiful flowers, brighten the colors in your wardrobe and home, and draw back the curtains to let in natural light. You can paint a sunnier outlook within yourself, which will give rise to all sorts of new opportunities. Since like attracts like, feel more energized and powerful as you spruce up your inner and outer worlds, then capitalize on this increased vigor by starting a new project that really makes your heart sing with excitement. Like I said, you're, you already know you want to explore. You already know what you want for yourself and how you want to honestly just improve, improve. Like when we all want that, we all want to become the best versions of ourselves. And some of you are just really wanting to explore that. And you're just getting some defensive energy back to you as you speak about that, right? But you are going to be starting something new. And I think that's really good for you, Virgos. This card signifies pregnancy. You'll be involved with a successful child conception, adoption, or custody resolution. Your desire will fully manifest in the springtime. There will be a resurrection of the old. Your new idea or venture will be successful. It's an opportune time to make life changes. She's the Teutonic goddess of fertility in springtime, who's sometimes called austere. The words East and Easter were both named after Ostara because of the reference to the sun rising in the east and the increase in sunlight beginning in the Celtic springtime. She is celebrated during the spring equinox as the bringer of increased light and the balance between nighttime and daytime hours. Call upon Ostara to increase your fruitfulness, fertility, or to help you embark on new ventures. Virgo, I think those were great cards for you, just so you guys can see them one more time. Um, really great energies for you. All right, now let's pull from the animal deck, and then we'll wrap this up. I'm going to get some water. Hold on. Mm. Okay. Any advice? Any advice from my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice from my Virgos regarding this spread? 
Any advice from my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice from my Virgos regarding this spread? Come on. Any advice from my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice from my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice from my Virgos regarding this spread? Hmm. Oh, that's too many. That's too many. That's too many. Any advice from my Virgos? Yeah, I just heard break away. Break away. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> oh, but we have ant spirit time to collaborate with the energy of one i feel like it's about building it's time to build those things that you want to build for yourself it's time to build a foundation that that's healthy okay and if you can do it with this person then i suggest that you try if you really really want to stick it out but most of you i feel like are going to be breaking away from this to go off and build healthy relationships with healthy people okay especially if this is a romantic relationship if this is family or work you might be finding your tribe, okay? <laughs> you might be going off to find your soul tribe here or go off into finding a new type of work or, you know, branching off into maybe just a different company or maybe just trying out different things or talking to different people and networking because this is about finding the people who match your vibration and building with them, building with them. Oh, hold on, we got a peeker. Oh, we got two peekers, three peekers. <laughs> oh no, four peekers, okay. <laughs> I was like, how did I miss that? Wow. Armadillo. Don't tell me five. Jesus. Okay. Five. We've got five. We've got five. Bobcat Spirit set made a second video. So we have five more that came out. Peekers, by the way. Bobcat Spirit Life is a mystery energy of eight. Armadillo Spirit set healthy boundaries. Mouth spirit, tend to the small details. 40 breaking down to a four, or small things, not details, things. 40 breaking down to a four, so stability. Dove spirit, be peace. 21 breaking down to a three. And butterfly spirit, transformation is beautiful, energy of 11. Uh, yeah, I feel like this is just about the communication that's leading you into the new for you. You're going into new shit, Virgo. With or without this person or people, you are going into something amazing because you've worked on yourself and you want to work on yourself. Some of you want to transform your work, your life, who you are. For some, that's also physical. Interesting. Some that's also physical. They want me to really make that clear. But this is you speaking your truth and being okay with it. Excuse me, I'm getting nasally. Um, speaking your truth to this person or people and being okay with that shit. Of like, look, that's just the truth. Do what you will with it. It's just my truth. And with this energy, this is about setting boundaries with them, okay? Um, Bobcat Spirit Life is a mystery. You're not, When you go into this conversation or telling this person or people uh your truth you don't know what you're gonna get you don't know that but with armadillo spirit you really are setting um like you're setting the standard for what healthy is for you you're setting the standard of of how you want to be treated as well whether they respond to that well or not you know doesn't that, that, that's not your problem <laughs> that's not your problem here um but with mouse spirit, I feel like you have to be methodical about it. It's all about the approach, right? And this is someone you know, or if you're dealing with multiple people, it's many people that you know, right? And you just got to approach it in a way that you know they'll be the most receptive, even though some of you probably already know that they're going to be very defensive. It's like, how can I say this the best way so I can really be heard, right? So that's what this energy is about. You're really not sure what's going to come of it, but either way, you're going to feel so good because you spoke your truth. And you're going to go off into something new with work or meeting new people or in a whole other relationship if this is romantic. Let's see what else wants to come out. Any other advice for my Virgos? Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Let's see here. Now we have <laughs> two so totally different energies, the turtle and the antelope, fast and slow, fast and slow. <laughs> and then what did we get in the pre-shuffle? We got the knight of pentacles, slow, and the knight of wands, fast. Yeah, I feel like these are two different people here, Virgo. 
I feel like this is the Knight of Wands energy. I do feel like this is your energy of look. I gotta go and break away and do my shit. You know, very eager to do that. And then on the end of the end of the table, there's slow progress, right? I just heard patience. Again, if you're dealing with one person or multiple, it doesn't matter. They're gonna be really slow to get to where you are. Okay, as far as owning your shit and owning your truth, it's hard for a lot of people to do that. They're going to take a long time to get to that point in their life or lives, and you just got there a lot faster. Nothing wrong with that. You got there a lot faster. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, I hate when I get nasally like this. Overall energy, we have whale spirit. Uh, trust the great mystery. 65, bringing down 10, 11. Uh, some of you are wondering why it had to happen this way. That's interesting. Because I feel like you've held your tongue for a little while now. And you're just wondering, like, I think some of you, yeah, especially if this is for family. Oh, it's raining. Uh, some of you kind of really want to take these people with you. They mean a lot to you. Or if it's one person, they meant something to you, right? But you're just wondering, like, damn, why did it have to happen this way? It's in your best interest. And I know that because underneath that, the miracles are endless with cow spirit 15 breaking down to a six yeah and then eagle spirit spirit has your back wow and then we've got the freedom card with the horse yeah it had to happen this way virgo so that you can have ultimate freedom and that you can be blessed and that you can go off and have abundance and have um security and stability and health like health healthy dynamics with people everybody deserves that spirit's looking out for you Spirit's looking out for you and you just listen to your intuition, you listen to yourself and you're speaking your truth. And yeah, it sucks that we can't take everyone with us. It sucks that some people can't, um, that not can't, I'm not going to say can't because everyone's capable, that some people really struggle with getting into that mentality. It really does suck sometimes because we can't hold on to people like that because they'll drag us down. And that's just the, tr that's the truth of it. It's okay to care about this person. It's okay to care about these people if it's multiple people. But it had to happen this way. And you're going to be doing great. And I know you're probably going to miss these people or person. Um, especially because I do feel this breaking away energy. But it's in your best interest. That's why it's happening this way. It's in your best interest. Everyone has the same shot of um, going within and working on their stuff and finding out what their truth is and then going about their true path. Everyone has that opportunity. Everybody does. Might be harder for some, but everyone does, right? It's in your best interest. That's why. Okay? All right, Virgos. This was a little intense. <laughs> All the readings have been so freaking intense lately. Uh, but I hope you guys did find it helpful and insightful. Don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo and Instagram to check out the content there. Instagram posts will resume in 2020. And again, I'll be live tonight at 5 p.m. Pacific here on YouTube. And then tomorrow, uh, the 24th, Christmas Eve day. Um, at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Okay. All right, guys, I will see you later. Have a great day and have a great rest of your 2019. Namaste.